Welcome to We Connect. Thank you very much for joining us on this program. Eliza Nahira is my guest here on the show today. In case you're wondering about her, very glamorous beauty, Miss Mexico in 2008. She's here on her very first trip to India, and it's our delight to actually have us have her with us on this program. Thank you so much oh, for joining us, thank Elisa. Thank you so much. Now, uh, in 08, you got the Miss Mexico title and then went along to the Miss Universe and you ended up coming fifth. Yes, Wow, that, that's something <laughs> fantastic. Did you have to prepare a lot before the Miss Mexico, for instance? Yes. Actually, uh, just by the time you get a crown as Miss Mexico, all the preparation starts. You have uh, English lessons, you have a uh, dance, theater, uh, oratory, oratory lessons. Um, you attend too many, too many events, or yes. so. So and you're pretty busy. Yeah, <laughs> and you're very well prepared then when you get to the Miss Universe. I think so. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, uh, all these lessons, all, the, all this preparation, give you gives you like. To, to feel more confident, it gives you confidence. Yes, the confidence. <laughs> yes, the confidence that you need. Yes. Um, but uh, you, you did have to take English classes, and uh, did you find that really helped you when you went to the Miss Universe? Definitely, because it, it was in Vietnam, and uh, well, most people there doesn't speak the, that good. <laughs> yes, that's true. That, <laughs> it was a challenge. Uh, trying to speak to them and you know right but uh, it helps you because as you may know it's a um, yeah. American organization that's so right yes everything it's in English, in English so. yes when you went to the Miss Universe did you have an opportunity to actually visit to go around Vietnam and to take a look at it did they give you time for that yeah they yeah, actually they took us uh, to make some trips around there. Mm. We were in different, three different uh, cities. We were in Atrang, yeah. Hanoi, and in Ho Chi Minh. Okay. And uh, we took a, a small tour in each city. So mm. it was such a nice experience. Right. So that was your first time in Asia, probably. Had yes. You been, yes, actually, yes. So now this is, is this your second time then in Asia? Um, I think my my fourth fourth time, yes. right? But your first time in India? Yes, so that's my first time in India. Right. So now I need to ask you how you have been kept busy while <laughs> you've been here. Very busy, I know. <laughs> yeah, a pretty tight schedule. Mm. Uh, I arrived here on Saturday, mm. and I got uh, I got to New Delhi, and then. We went to Pune, then uh, to Mumbai, and now I'm here yeah. in Chennai. You've got all the cities right. You're pronouncing it superbly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> good, good for you. So while you've been here, you are also promoting uh, yes. a, a brand, a, a brand yeah. of tequila. Now, um, how important is it for you to be promoting something like a brand? Very important. I can feel proud of it because actually this tequila comes from where I am. Oh, yeah, okay. for a small town. Right. Uh, I know very well this uh, this factory, the, 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 this distillery. Mm. So I know that it's a very high quality tequila. Okay. So I'm convinced that it, it is a very good product, mm. and uh, also it's so exciting to to see how your culture is you're spreading, you're helping to spread it uh, right. around the world. To around the world, yes, yes true. So. Now you also work with the brand in Mexico. Yes, for sure. Right, you also yes. represent the brand. Yeah. But you, you, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no. In Mexico, well, we're trying to do it uh, around the world. Uh, we're doing some tastings of tequila. Mm -hmm. Where we try, we're trying to do is to educate people um, so they can um, learn how to take tequila not as, not as a shot, not with cocktails, but by itself. Because mm -hmm. it has a special flavor, special smells, mm -hmm. and we want to give the people this knowledge. Right, now I have to ask you, yes. do you enjoy tequila? Yeah, enjoy? for sure. Really? Sure, sure, sure. Mexican, so it has to be tequila, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Right, I love it. Um, you've got some other dreams, I know. Yes, uh, sure. Because you have a chemistry background. Yeah. And um, so now, what, what do you want to do? What do you want to do, say, five years down the road? 
Well, actually, I um, I try to grow my own business. Okay. It's um, uh, something related with uh, with food chemistry, for okay. sure. Uh, my mother is a chef, oh, so okay. she has many ideas of uh, recipes and things and new products. Right. And uh, I'm on the other side, um, trying to to get all the preserve well the preserve how to preserve them. Okay. So mm -hmm. maybe with a, as with the organic uh, stuff uh, stuff sorry uh, or. Um, just by uh, adding some chemicals that we are trying not to. Right. But but your chemistry background will be very useful for you. Here. Yes. Right. Yes. That's well, one thing, and the other thing is that I would like to open a restaurant. Okay. Yes. Where Where do you have plans to do that? Maybe uh, it's a small city nearby um, Mexico City. It's called Querétaro. Mm -hmm. So maybe there. What does it mean for you to be a celebrity like you are. I mean, mm -hmm. to be Miss Mexico, yes. you know, it is four years ago, but I'm sure that uh, the sort of glamour associated with a title like this never really goes away. Never <laughs> yes, goes like, away. Yes, it's like a tattoo, <laughs> something yes, like that. That's right. <laughs> yes, um, well, it changed your life in a great way. I mean, uh, as I said, um, it gives you confidence. Mm. It uh, teach you so many things about how how to achieve the goals. Right. Um, for sure, your life changes. Now, um, sometimes I wake up and I have to go for for, uh, for the shooting, or mm. maybe I am actually studying as a TV show host. Right. So okay. life changes. I, I'm yeah, sure it does. But you know, I often wonder, Elisa. People in, in, the, in the limelight, in the business of beauty, in a way, uh, is it sometimes difficult? Because every single day, you've got to get up and say, mm, how am I going to look? I've got to look my best. <laughs> but isn't it difficult to do this all the time, to feel you're looking good, you're working out, you're with, you know? Well, um, is it tough sometimes? Sometimes, yes. Always people is expecting you to look Perfect. Your best, yes. Yeah. And we have bad days. All of us have bad hair days, yes, bad so makeup days. Yeah, sometimes you have to wake up and go straight to the airport. And I know. You don't have time to, to get yourself it. ready. That's and, right. And sometimes they expect you to look perfect. And yes. It is not like that, but I, I try to. <laughs> you you try have to it. work at it, right? You yes, have to really, sure. really work at it. Yes. Right. Um, when you were preparing for your Miss Mexico, when, when you got that title, I just wondered, did somebody actually say, come on, Elisa, go for it? Or, you know, like, were you, co were you coerced? Were you sort of coaxed into actually going for that? Yes, I had the support, I can say, from my family right. and from my friends. Actually, well, I was into modeling by that time. All right. But um, I didn't have uh, the idea of getting to the, this beauty pageant. But my my friends kind of uh, inspired me, inspired me inspired you <laughs> yeah, right that's the words okay. inspired me all right and i did it okay elise i'm going to ask you to hold on for a very short while we take a very short break here on we connect and then we'll get right back with you you please don't go anywhere Chennai Super Kings
எதிர்பாராத நிகழ்வுகள் விளையாட்டு உங்கள் வரவேற்பறையில் உலகம் நிறுத்தம் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி உலகை சுற்றி திங்கள் முதல் சனி வரை தினமும் மாலை ஐந்து முப்பது மணிக்கு உங்கள் என்டி டிவி இன்றுகள் மட்டும் ready to be transported to a different world a world where you are the lone survivor where bullets scream the loudest and blood flows like water where zombies lurk around everywhere and one wrong step brings you crashing to the ground so are you ready because the game is on sunday 5 pm only on ndtv hindu Nahira is my guest here on We Connect today and I'm really glad that you've joined us once again on the program. She was a former Miss Mexico in 2008 and then came fifth in the Miss Universe title that same year. She's right here in Chennai on a brief visit to our city. We were really happy and lucky to nab her for this show. Thank you so much uh, once again you know, for being here with us. Now when you look back and you said that your friends kind of pushed you into into going for the Miss Mexico and you ended up winning. You ended up winning. I, <laughs> did you expect yes. that would happen? Yeah, I, well, I knew that uh, I could win, but you never know. You never know uh, That's true. Uh, what uh, are they asking for, what kind of look are they they're expecting. Yeah, yes. expecting to mm. have. And, well, I was lucky mm. when I had luck, <laughs> but uh, I just uh, so thankful to all of them that were there for me, uh, you know, inspiring me and by just by my side, supporting me. Yeah, yeah. It was what, what about uh, at the at when you go when you see the beauty pageants on, on the television, and you see all these questions being thrown at the contestants? You know, sometimes I wonder, you know, whether that's really uh, a fair thing to be doing because it's completely unscheduled. You don't even know what they're going to <laughs> ask you. How did you cope? <laughs> Well, scared? Was it scary? No, I wasn't. I was no. uh, pretty calm. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, just uh, so confident of being there, uh, standing, looking to my. I was looking to my my parents that mm -hmm. were actually in that in the pageant and at the theater. So I was pretty calm. Uh, they asked me uh, uh, what makes a woman feel satisfied. Mm -hmm. And what did you answer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's, it's that difficult. Uh, really? For me, it has always been satisfaction to be, to have a balance in my life mm -hmm. between what I do in my job, with my family, with, uh, with all people, commun community. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a balance. Right. So now, uh, from, I just want to ask, 
did you find a great deal of difference? For instance, I presume that the Miss Mexico uh, pageant must have had uh, questions to you in Spanish, probably, uh -huh, yes, sure. right? And then you go to the Miss Universe, and then although that's in Vietnam, everything was again in English. So did you find a great deal of difference in just the way it was organized or in just the way they questioned you or just the whole atmosphere? Tell me about that. Yes, it's totally different because in Mexico, Okay, you are in your country, you are yes. speaking your sure. own language, uh, and uh, you know the, the, um, well, that place, you know Mexico, you know. So basically, you are in your uh, environment, yes. Environment. Yes, that's uh, there's true. nothing uh, weird. Nothing uh, different. Of course, you are in a, um, in a contest, yes. and there, there, there is competition between the girls, but it is not as <laughs> in Miss Universe where all the girls go go for it. Really? And go for each other, do they? Yeah, <laughs> they will bite you, they will <laughs> kick you. <laughs> oh, wow, that's not what the no, magazine no, say, no. Lisa. The no, no, no. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, no, it's something uh, totally different. It, it is not anymore Elisa Najera, it, it is the Mexico. Now, Elisa, you had obviously two very big pageants that you went to. You go to Miss Mexico first, then you go to Miss Universe. I was just wondering about the difference between the way these two are conducted. One was yes. in Spanish, one was in English. How, yeah. how does it go? It is totally different. Uh, when you are in Mexico, you are in your environment, you are in your place, you know, oh, the place, the food, uh, the, the girls and the language. So mm. it is a competition, but it is, uh, yeah, it, mm. it is comfortable. Mm. As a matter of fact, and when you go to, when I went to Miss Universe, um, well, the competition was even harder. Mm. I can say uh, it is something uh, it's very strong. Well, very to represent your country. You're not longer Elisa Najera now. You're in Mexico. Right. So that's tough. How do the girls behave towards each other? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, sometimes, tell me, what do they do? <laughs> sometimes, and some girls who are uh, friendly, mm. some others not. Okay. <laughs> well, no, it was a uh, very nice time. Time, sorry. Right. Um, no. Most of the girls uh, were, um, I don't know. Uh, I suppose the competition must be really, really so tight when you are there. Yes. Um. Yes, by the time you, uh, you get there, everybody wants to be your friend. By the time the, uh, the final is coming, oh my gosh, everybody gets stressed, everybody gets nervous, everybody must buy, maybe bite you, maybe kick you, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. That's tough. <laughs> you that's can't expect everything from, from that's, the That's from right, the girls. I suppose so. Each one wants to win, right? Yeah, sure. Right. It's like the dream of... Right. Of course. Now, uh, when you came as fifth runner-up, I mean, that is no joke, truly. Uh, what did it mean for you when you got that? You know, I can, I can just the feeling. Uh, in that moment, you just say, okay, yeah, I, you know, I just know that now I have to leave, you know, because everything is all, all set, all prepared. And I have to leave, I have to go this way, and that, that's it, I, I was blank. Really? Yes. And after that, in, uh, in backstage, it was like, <sighs> it's over, that's it. Mm. It, was, it, was, it was tough, also because um, I knew that I was uh, one of the favorites. I had all the chances to win, mm -hmm. and I don't know. Sometimes to just ask what the, what what was missing at that time. What did I not yeah. do, or what what did I? How yes. did I not look? Right. What was the last thing that I didn't get, or I don't know. Right. But but you've obviously taken it very very well. Yeah. And I'm going to go for another very short break, Elisa, now, and come back and ask you a lot more about this very charmed <laughs> life that you lead. And right here on WeConnect, we'll take another very short break and then get right back here with you.
transported to a different world. A world where you are the lone survivor. Where bullets scream the loudest and blood flows like water. Where zombies lurk around everywhere and one wrong step brings you crashing to the ground. The game is on. Sunday, 5 p.m. Only on NDTV Hindu. Idhar baraada nikal vikal. Vilayat. Bulagatin lifestyle. மட்டும் <laughs> Before the menu, let its history mesmerize you. If you are crazy about food, let the madness entertain you. Feeding Frenzy, Sunday at 3.30 p.m. Only on NDTV Hindu. Now, Lisa, starting a business is not normally so easy, you know. No. So I was just wondering, how are you planning to do that? What are your plans? Do you have something to actually help you to get this off the ground? Yes, um, I think my mom is going to be also in charge of that. Oh, <laughs> She's oh. going to be at the kitchen. And, uh, She's going to do a lot of work, <laughs> your mother, I can see. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's really organized and she knows how to do that. So. That I, will, I will trust completely on, on her knowledge of everything, so... Right. She's gonna what about boyfriends? What about marriage? Is it on the cards, uh, even maybe distant future? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a boyfriend. Um, we haven't discussed the, the thing about marriage. The plans. <laughs> the plans. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't have uh, like any plans yet. Mm -hmm. But for sure, I will someday get married, have my own family, that's a dream. And, and if you have your family, when you have your family, will you send your daughter to a beauty pageant? Yeah, sure. You will? Yeah, sure. Right. If she wants. Okay. I will, not, I will not push at her, push her, but uh, I could say to her that it's a great experience and if she wants to, she can go. Right. Is our beauty pageants popular in Mexico? Do you have a lot of Mexican girls who, who actually want to take part? Um, I think every time, it is getting uh, more popular every time. Mm -hmm. you know, now these days, uh, people start talking about it. Uh, Ten years before, uh, nobody even cared about beauty pageants. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. So, so you see it actually gaining in popularity? Yeah, I think so. And, well, I can say that uh, three years before um, my, um, well, my term, yes. um, it, is, it, uh, it was uh, becoming a little bit more uh, interesting for people. Mm -hmm. And when I was a uh, forerunner up, I think people started uh, Getting thinking uh, on uh, what's going on with this beauty pageants. Okay, thinking differently in a yeah. way. Yes. Yes. Right. Uh, I want to ask you, when you get something like a beauty title like you did, wh what what do they expect of you? I mean, is it very demanding for that one year that you wear the crown, whether it's a Miss Mexico, whether it's a Miss Universe, whether it is a Miss 
whatever, whichever country. How demanding is it for you? Demanding uh, as in time, with, with time? And, yes. Well, it takes all your time. Really? When, uh, is it that, when, when it's your year, um, when you're Miss Mexico that, that year, it takes all your time. Well, 24 7 really I think. so yes. you, you keep on promoting products and you promote the country and you promote all sorts of things right yeah you're uh, into organizations with uh, helping some girls children well social social, social causes, causes as well and uh, um, well events uh, fashion and things and also well you're pretty busy I, I can <laughs> yes. I can imagine I can well yes. imagine can you say no can you refuse? Supposing, <laughs> supposing you've got a bad day, supposing you aren't feeling well, what happens then? I've never heard of any beauty, uh, you know, a, a person with a beauty title, a beauty queen saying, well, she's not coming today because she's not well. I mean, aren't they allowed to be sick? Aren't they allowed Ooh. to have a cold, cough, fever? <laughs> I think uh, they will tell you, take a pill and get up. <laughs> get out of the bed. <laughs> and look bright and shining. No, I think that uh, when you have the chance of being uh, being a queen, um, you never, uh, you never spoil yourself. You, you, you have a duty. So, I think you always attend to all all the duties you have. Okay. So, in other words, what you're really saying is that you have to take it very seriously. It can't be just some fun yes. thing that you no, do, no, right? No, 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 no. And it's just, it is not just uh, getting the crown, and that, that's it. No. Right. Well, Alicia, it's been wonderful for me to have you on our show and to be able to Thank talk you to you. Much. And um, I really wish you all the very best in your in your business, in whatever it is you plan to do with yourself in your life. Thank you. I am glad that you're here in India, and thank you very much for giving me your time. <laughs> thank you very thank much. Thank you so much indeed. Thank well, you. that's all I have time for here on WeConnect. But I do hope that you've enjoyed listening to Alicia here with me, because I think that what she's told us has been very, very interesting. And of course, she's made a very glamorous guest. And so until the next week, you take care. Bye for now.